Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Row. I am excited to be in the speakeasy. We're talking gift giving. It's Father's Day coming up, and I got some great, great gift bottles of bourbon and whiskey to share with you. Nine, actually. There's nine bottles, plus another gift we'll talk about here in just a minute. If you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Original Grain. I am a huge fan of Original Grain watches. They make some of the best watches that I have ever worn. This one is made from reclaimed ammo crates. They specialize in repurposing materials. They've, they've done it with guitars, whiskey barrels, uh, ammo crates, different things. And it kind of brings just a real character to, to your timepiece. Now, this one is made from reclaimed whiskey barrels. It's a bold, beautiful watch. They come in these gorgeous gift boxes. This one is also made from reclaimed whiskey barrels. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous chrono there. And I, like I said, I am a huge fan of Original Grain. If you are interested in a gift for that father figure in your life for Father's Day, go to originalgrain.com to get 30% off one of your watches. This is a limited time deal. Go to originalgrain.com slash row to get a great, great Father's Day gift for that father figure in your life. Thank you so much to Original Grain for sponsoring this video. You know, let's talk about these nine balls that we have here. We're going to start with the most, the least expensive, and we're going to go to the most expensive. Uh, now, these are gift bottles. I tried to focus on stuff that was somewhat affordable because, you know, not all of us are going to be giving 100 and 150, 200 dollar bottles of whiskey to people for gifts. We want. I, I try to focus more on affordable, affordable bottles. To me, there's really kind of two variations of gift here. You're giving a gift to somebody who's either new to whiskey uh, or less experienced in whiskey. Maybe they've got a smaller collection, or they're just brand new completely to to whiskey. Then the other side of it is somebody who's much more experienced in whiskey. And some of those folks can be really hard to get a bottle of whiskey for for like Father's Day because you're they've got a lot of stuff and you are kind of like not sure what to get them because they have a ton of options. And I'll tell you now that most of those bourbon lovers, those whiskey lovers in your life would much rather have a bottle of whiskey than almost any other kind of whiskey related gift. No whiskey stones, no smokers, cocktail smoker kits, those things. Those things have their place, they're cool, but if you aren't sure what they have, don't have, just get them whiskey. It works every time. Now the first bottle up tonight, this one is more geared to somebody who's newer to whiskey, somebody with a little less experience in whiskey and bourbon. This is Wild Turkey 101 coming in at 101 proof. This legendary bottle is absolutely fantastic for the price. I got this here in Virginia. Runs about $24, $25 here. If they've already got one, well, it's something that's easy to use in cocktails. It's something that you don't mind sharing and drinking. So they're probably going through it. Either they don't have it, which is a great gift. If they do have it, they're probably going through it relatively quickly because it's such a classic. And you know, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna be upset if you get a Wild Turkey 101 to add to their collection. Now, this next bottle is again focused at the newer, more novice. Although there is a place for the more experienced bourbon lover with this one. And this is a Green River bourbon. This comes in at 90 proof from DSPKY10 in Owensboro, Kentucky. This is the standard bourbon with, with the rye, you know, the rye recipe bourbon, uh, not the weeded. And this is a great one for a couple of reasons. One is it's it's fairly newly back on the market. It's a great bottle. It's 35-ish dollars. It's very affordable, something you can give to, as a gift fairly easily. And for the new novice, you know, person new, 90 proof, very approachable, lots of really nice sweet notes on this one, not too spicy, it's not got kicky, it's not funky, very kind of a traditional, mellow, good sipping bourbon. It's probably a little on the nicer side. You could do it with cocktails, but that might, you know, you're getting into, you know, $35 bottle on cocktails might be a little, uh, not how you want to make your cocktails, but that's only up to you. You make your cocktails how you want to, but just, I'm just saying it's $35. You can drink it any way you want. And it's very, very nice, very easy, very accessible. And for the more experienced bourbon person out there, this is one since it hasn't been on the market for a while and it's kind of not a you know it's not coming from a major distillery it's one that might have floated on underneath the radar just a little bit and if they do have one i mean they're not going to complain because it's a great bottle and if they don't have one then you've helped open the door to a great great bottle this is not a bourbon it's actually a boo rye but 
it's really, really good for that bourbon lover in your life. And it's something that they may not have. This is Redwood Empire Lost Monarch. Now, it's a blend of bourbon and rye whiskeys. It's out of Northern California. Great rate bottle coming in at 90 proof. This is really interesting uh, for a couple reasons. One is it's only like $35, so it's not very expensive. And because it's a boo rye, there's a, a lot of times bourbon lovers might overlook this one just because they haven't really thought about buying it, spending the money on it. So if it's an experienced person you're looking for, this might be a great option because you're opening the door to something that's new that they may not have tried. It's not too expensive at $35, very accessible. And for the new urban lover, it's kind of the same thing. It's something they may not have gotten into. And also it's just really delicious. So for those reasons, I would say that this is something that whether it's for an experienced or novice bourbon lover, this would make a great, great gift. Artstown Bourbon Company Origin Series White Label. This is a six year uh, age stated whiskey. It's got rye as the second grain in the mash bill from Barstown Bourbon Company. This is their own juice. I've talked about it before, but this is an amazing gift of a bottle for or honestly for both sides, whether it's a novice or an experienced person, comes in about $45 most places. It's a great option because this just came out this year. It's new. They may not have picked one up yet or tried it yet. So it's something, you know, it's not, you, you, you're you less likely to have uh, to, to be buying something they already have. It's not too proofy coming in 96 proof. A little bit of an apricot, some a little bit of brown sugar, some nice caramel notes, really accessible at 96 proof, delicious sipping whiskey. Uh, something that you'd easily, easily enjoy whether you're novice or uh, a longtime bourbon lover. Woodford Reserve Double Oak. Now this one, we've been we've been working on this one. I want to say we've been working on this one a long time, but it's actually not been long. This is one that we actually, uh, well, Jamie drinks quite often uh, here in my home. Now this is a great, great gift for the newer bourbon lover in, in your life. And the reason I say that is because it's so sweet, so decadent, so dessert-like. It's very, very easy for somebody that's new to bourbon to really, really like this bottle. It runs about $50, $55, so it's a little on the higher end. Is good for that new person because they may not have spent this much money on a bottle or they might have had reservations spending this much money on a bottle. But if you pick it up for them, they don't have to spend it and they actually get to enjoy a delicious, delicious product. Now, I am not a huge Woodford Reserve fan. This is the exception to that. This is fantastic. If you've tried regular Woodford Reserve, not your thing. This is a different animal. Old Forester 1910, we killed it. I don't have a new bottle in the speakeasy. Jamie is going to be so, so disappointed in me because we're now out of Old Forester 1910. 93 proof. This is a great, great bottle. Coming in right around $55, $50, $55. I think a little bit more like the Woodford Reserve Double Oak that we just talked about. I would say this tends to be a little bit more for that novice bourbon lover. Uh, it is $55, so it's a little more on the expensive side for, for a novice, you know, buying a novice, uh, you know, somebody newer to whiskey a, a bottle. However, great, you know, 93 proof. It's really, really sweet, very dessert-like. To me, this is better than the Double Oak. The Double Oak tends to be a little more bitter to me, but honestly, I'm really picky that way. <laughs> and if you're buying it for a novice, they're not probably gonna be quite as picky. They're gonna really gravitate toward the sweet notes of either bottle, so they're both pretty safe buys. Uh, the 1910, legendary, uh, kind of desserty, sweet kind of bourbon. Great, great caramel notes, very dense, thick, viscous mouthfeel. For the more experienced person, uh, this is a very safe buy. Uh, but I think there's some better options that we've kind of covered by getting them something new that they may not have had or tried before. Here is Heaven Hill Seven Year Bottled and Bond. Uh, I've seen this as low as 50. I've seen it as high as 60. This is a great, great bottle of whiskey, in my opinion, coming in at Bottled and Bond 100 proof, obviously. It's not as like sweet and desserty as the 1910. It's a little more complex than that. It brings in that, that age statement which it also has this kind of like, like a little bit more of a, uh, a balance between sweet and spice. This is one that I would say would probably be a better gift for that more experienced bourbon lover. It's one of those that I think is a little bit of a sleeper for those experienced bourbon lovers out there. This one at 100 proof is extremely sippable. It's got a nice balance of the sweet and the spice and the, the oaky notes with the seven years. I, I think it really just, it really kind of checks all the boxes. Wild Turkey Rare Breed coming in at 116.8 proof. This bottle is awesome. It's fantastic. 
right around 60, 62, 55, depending on where you are. I know it varies state to state. And in my mind, this is probably one of the best wild turkey products that you can readily find. This is something that I think is a great, great bottle for that experienced bourbon lover in your life. Nobody, most people in the bourbon world are not going to look at this bottle if you give it to them as a gift and be like, huh, okay. I mean, they're gonna be excited. If anybody gave me a wild turkey rare breed, or the last bottle on the list, I would just be very, very excited because they're both great, great bottles. Actually, check that. Almost every bottle on this list, I'd be excited if somebody got me because I like getting free, uh, free, free bourbon, free whiskey. It's kind of nice. Anyway, this one, though, is a blend of uh, multiple years. I think a six, eight, and a nine. Don't quote me. There's, there's three different ages. They blend them together, and, uh, and it comes across... A little wild turkey, but whatever they're doing, where the, because of the how they're blending the ages together, it is it comes off less of a wild turkey profile note, much more balanced, blended, and for you know fifty five to sixty five dollars, it is a tremendous, tremendous bottle. Last bottle up tonight is Old Forester nineteen twenty, coming in at one hundred and fifteen proof retails for right around. 55 to 65 dollars depending on where you live this to me is a tremendous gift bottle for a couple of reasons one it's extremely thick dense great mouthfeel tremendous value for 60 65 dollars 55 dollars whatever it is it's you get so much for that money the quality on these things are just outstanding to me this is a tremendous bottle to get somebody who is a huge bourbon lover 1920 you can't go wrong with it kind of like the wild turkey rare breed except even more so it's a good option for beginners as well it's a little bit i think more accessible than the wild turkey rare breed for beginners just my opinion however at 65 dollars and 115 proof it might be a little out of the 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 budget range a great bottle that you should consider when you're looking for a gift whether it be for father's day for thanksgiving christmas whatever it is whenever you're buying somebody a bottle for whatever reason these nine bottles i think all have a place in in your uh trying to figure out what to get somebody if you ended up enjoying this video please smash that like button hopefully you have a tremendous father's day coming up or whatever holiday is in the works or whatever occasion is in the works that caused you to click on this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for today's video sponsor, Original Grain. Go to originalgrain.com slash row to get 30% off your order. And until next time, find a bottle you love.